What's up, YouTube? Back with another vlog, you feel me? Now, to look, today is day one. We're going to be uh, vlogging for our pop up shop. But today, you feel me? You're going to see what we got going on. This is one, you feel me? That's some eggs, yeah, little turkey bacon, you feel me? If you want to know about the turkey bacon, if you ain't tuned into it, get tuned in. But look, bro, as y'all can see, we supposed to get a haircut, bro, for the pop up shop because we looking kind of rough. Barbara's real life goofy out here, bro. It is what it is. You feel me? So we're going to have to dinner. Go to the pop-up shop like this. I'm going to try to make something work tomorrow. But if not, you feel me? We're going to have to go like this. And I'm be at, I'm be back at y'all later, folks. All right, so look, y'all. This is day two, gang. No, this is... Yeah, this is day two of the vlog. But this is the day of the venue, bro. Now, look. I'm going to tell y'all something before I even get to what I was going to get into. He changed the time from 8.30 to... I think it was like to 12.00. To 10 30 to 1. So off rip, I was already like, huh? Like, what you mean? Like, I feel like you scamming, you feel me? And then now he gonna text me this morning. He texts me a phone number because we got three. I got two of my homies that got clothing breads that's coming to the venue too. So y'all gonna see them later in the uh, vlog if we even go, if we don't get scammed. Like, even if I'm gonna post this regardless, but if we get scammed, then y'all gonna, if, if we don't get scammed, y'all gonna see them. But basically, he went from that to saying he had the switch venues. So now the time is from 10 30 to 1 and now we got to pay 50 more extra dollars to get in now, i already paid 100 bro to get in the thing as is you feel me my father's not the richest person in the world <clears throat> so i'll rip i'm already like am i getting scammed man? like 150 150 i have been whatever it's gonna be you feel me for a uh, pop-up shop celebrities gonna be there all type of shit, as they say but is it really worth 150 like is it even worth 100 for like is this even a thing? Like, is are we even get? You know, is we getting scammed? So I was like, basically, yeah, that's what motherfuckers on right now. I supposed to still go get my table from Walmart and like a couple few chairs. You feel me? For my homie and my uh, girl that's coming with me. So that's already like another motherfucking sixty. So then you talking about a fifty on top of this? You tripping, gang? But nah. So look, y'all, y'all seen what I look like yesterday? Now look, I had to go get a quick haircut, gang, from a barber that I don't even know. Let me know how you did in the comments, folks, because y'all see how I was looking yesterday, then y'all see how I'm looking right now. You feel me? I really need to get my hair done, but that's what we got going right now. I ain't got my fit on or nothing right now, but you feel me? Cooling with Lady McGrafster, the Rasta man from Nigeria himself. Now I stop playing, but you feel me? We got the hoodie on. We got the, the hoodies. Get into them. Pop the website up right here. You feel me? Roll them up dot com. We might sell if this venue real is this if this uh Zaza Palooza what they call it real folk then I feel like my hoodie's gonna go crazy like we gonna do some numbers game cause look they don't know bro the custom y'all already know if y'all been tuned in y'all already know about the hoodies but we'll be back I'll be back y'all so y'all you feel me we back <clears throat> so look y'all. We was just with the boys, you feel me? So now we waiting on my girl to get off. We got like 30 minutes, you feel me? So look, man, I'm going to show y'all my inventory. Hold on. Bring it for my first uh, drop. You feel me? There's like 40 some hoodies. Somebody actually putting about this small red right now before I leave. So that's actually good. Hopefully we can sell out. Got the green, the black, the red. You feel me? Even got these shirts. But this shirt is supposed to come with these shorts that's over here. Y'all can see them. But my manufacturer tweaked and then messed my shirt up. Like, it's like baseball cut instead of regular cut. But I'm still wearing it because I fuck with it. But, yeah, he messed it up. But look, y'all. So we waiting on my girl. I'm going to get back at y'all. All right, y'all. So look, we at the, uh, uh, we at the pop-up shop. We all set up. They got this movie going right now. We smoke inside here every day. Go ahead and show them the whole culture real quick. He got his shirt set up. He's smoking a food, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why, though. You know, that's not me, bro. Anybody that be watching the video, y'all know he's broke, too. That's why he's not. No more videos. But nah, look, y'all. Right now, we just cooling. We waiting for uh, the people to come through the shop. If y'all come through the shop, we're gonna probably leave in, like, the next 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna get back that time we're in the car.
Look, y'all, we gonna get right into it, bro. This is day two of the uh, pop-up shop video. Now, as y'all can see, we got the footage that I showed y'all right before this clip. And, hold on, let me fix this spooky ass dust, man. I'm done smoking these. This is gonna be our last video. Well, y'all ain't never seen me with a dust in my video, don't think. But uh, this is gonna be the last one for sure. So either way, look, boom, we get, we get to the pop-up shop, bro, the pop-up shop is in like a bar, like, like a bar area, bro, like, um, like a bar, but then they got rooms in the back where the pop-up shop, the pop-up shop is, you feel me? So tell me why we, the whole time we advertise it, boom, let me show y'all the first advertisement. You see that, right? The first advertisement, it said, it said, uh, like meet and greet, you feel me? So when we get there, boom, this is what we get. This is what, this is what it is. So we get there, bro. It's a whole fucking movie night, some type of, and I don't know, bro, like some goofy shit, bro. You feel me? Like, but we paid you a hundred. I said, bro, we paid you a hundred. I'm gonna show y'all all the messages, all the proof, everything. Y'all gotta listen to this whole thing. I said we paid you a hundred, and then you try to make us pay fifty more. For what? It was six. You could have told us before we even slid that it was six people that bought tickets. Like thirty, he said thirty RSPs, and like like out of sixty, and only ten or twenty came by, and then they left in five minutes. I said, bro, what? I said, you could have told us that, you know, that you changed the location, that you did this and that, that, that bro, he was basically unpro unprofessional <clears throat> and unorganized, you feel me? And so, basically, I told him, like, bro, you see me before, you think I'm a goofy before, you talking about you from Chicago, you from the rack, he talking about I'm from the rack. I'm like, bro, you talking about you from Chicago, bro, you think motherfuckers goofy, you think motherfuckers are firm, you feel me, like, Bro, go ahead, yo. I like. I'm like, bro. All you saying, all these. I'm pocket watching you now, cause I'm like, you, you finesse me. So like, motherfuckers paid. You said thirty RSPs, six uh people that paid for the ticket for the movie, plus like ten vendors and shit. Bro, I'm gonna need at least fifty dollars back. At least some. I'm gonna need some type of conversation, bro. The Zaza family study probably be Zaza family. Zaza family. We don't do refunds. This and that. This and that. This and that. This and that. I'm like, bro, you never said that. He studied to me. He told me when, when we had a talk at the table. And then I'm like, bro, you didn't tell me that, bro. You just studied to me. You gonna uh, invite me to the next show, bunch. I mean, the next pop up shop for free. Whatever the case may be, make, make me a free band or whatever the case may be. And then tell you why we get to argue, bro. This thing, tell you why he he get the he say. I say, bro. You only got seven. I said you only got three thousand followers on your uh thing, and you follow like ten thousand people. That's kind of sus off the rip. I should have known. Bro, you only got seven hundred followers. How you say you got all these people? Da, 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 da. I say, bro, I'm not. It's not a competition. Like you know, I'm not competing with him or nothing. I don't compete with anybody. You feel me? So I'm like, bro. It's not about the following, bro. But I personally have 20,000 followers on TikTok. I got 17K. You feel me? And so basically, I'm like, bro, I got I got 20,000 followers on TikTok. Who out the day on this Instagram shit ain't shit. I'm building my shit up on a different platform. I know what I'm doing. Like, I'm, well, why your people didn't come out? Why your people didn't do this and that, this and that? I'm poor. I'm professional. Shop royalmobapparel.com. You feel me? My people, they shop. People that mess with me, y'all mess with me. I tell them, like, they shop rollingupparel.com. You feel me? They don't, I'm professional. I don't have to go out to Iowa and give a hoodie. I don't have to go to Wisconsin and give hoodies in uh, nearby states and shit. And nearby towns. I don't, unless you're in town, I whoop. And then I put the order in through the uh, website menu. Like, I'm, like, professional. So I'm, like, is this my pop-up shop or is this your pop-up shop? You feel me? Like, why would my people come to your pop-up shop? 
like, yeah, people that live in Chicago, my family and shit, they was gonna show up, but I, I told, I ain't text them back the address, because I told them, like, that shit, whoop, that shit was whoop, you feel me, so, I'm like, bro, you, all you study saying, like, I'm gonna show y'all the messages, bro, but all he studied was saying in the messages was nonsense, he wasn't even talking nothing about nothing for real, or really, like, really saying anything, or really, like, trying to compensate nobody, I'm like, bro, all you care about yourself, then, I said, all you care about yourself, and then this man gonna post, bro. He posted a video of the pop-up shop trying to act like it was busting, bro. Trying to act like it was busting, like trying to show the clothes off, show everything that was going on from the vendors. Vendors was buying from other vendors. When you go to a pop-up shop, vendors are not supposed to be buying from other vendors. Vendors are supposed to be there to strictly make money. Now, if you see somebody's shit that you like, or you fuck with, or who you fuck with, you know what I'm saying, you seen them on the internet, or whatever the case may be, then you might buy something. If it's an item, like food, or, you know what I'm saying, some crazy, you might buy some. But, like, vendors strictly go to pop-up shops to make money. They don't go there to spend money on no other vendor. And so, I'm like, bro, ain't nobody pop-up. I love, I got there, like, at 10. I love, we shut down and got our stuff, 10.30. We left at, like, I stayed, I tried to stay to 12. One person... Out of six people came up to our tables. You feel me? Like everybody's table. I don't know if they bought anything, but they didn't buy anything for me. But like it was like an old older couple. But like, bro, I'm like, bro, I was so mad. I can't even I told them like I was I had took some I had uh drunk some henny, I had drunk a few shots. So I'm like, bro, if we would have had talked in person, we would have had I would have had you feel me? I would have had did something to you. So I didn't really want to talk in person, so I was like, the best way I feel is we can talk through phone or text messages, you feel me? And I don't got to a number, so it'd be what it be. But either way, so yeah, pop up shot was a fail, y'all. Me, 408, different streetwear, my, both of my homies, we all got uh, scammed and there was a false advertisement, and I want, I'm popping stuff up, and I want y'all to spam any of messages, spam is anything. Comments, anything which y'all want to do, you feel me? Do not go to his pop up shops with y'all in Chicago or any nearby states. The nigga is a scam. Because after the fact that he posted the video of the, uh, our pop up shop and like the other pop up shops, I figured that they was like people was coming and shit, but they all was a uh, scam. Like nobody, he had no audience. He has no audience. He has no, no type of, uh, he's just unprofessional. He don't got nothing like, you know what I'm saying? So basically, what we doing, he, he said he got an exotic pop-up tour. So basically what he doing is having us fund him to go to different states, to just see states or some shit. Cause he don't got, like I say, he don't got no people. He don't got no, no audience. He don't got no follower. He don't got none, you feel me? So we just basically funded him to go from state to state. And yeah, like the pop-up shop is failed, man. So that's the end of the pop-up shop video, you feel me? I'm mad. I got scared. I'm still, I still be texting this man, bro. Yeah. I'm blue. I don't know how long I'm going to be blue for, bro. But that's pop-up shop video. It's going to be an actual real pop-up shop video. So make sure y'all tune into that video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Roll them up. We going, baby.